Hi everyone, Kim here with the Happy Crocheters. I wanted to give a little review on the shirt that I just made. Um, I do wanna start off by saying I absolutely love this new top. This is one of my favorite ones and I'm so excited that I have one for summer now. So um, with that, I'm going to do a little review of this pattern because there's things that I loved about it. There's things that I was a little confused about and I wanna share those with you. I'm also gonna link the pattern in the comments. I'm not affiliated with this designer or anything like that, but I just wanted to um, share this with you and if you're interested in making one for yourself, then you know where to get the pattern. So the first thing I'm gonna say is so this is the pattern. She's got a couple different designs on here. And the thing with the gauge is that she has it gauged at two inches by two inch square. And so it's 10 double crochet stitches and five rows should measure a two by two inch square. I did a gauge swatch with my six my G6 four millimeter, which is what her pattern calls for to get the swatch. And I can tell you that this swatch turned out to be a um, two and a quarter inches each way for this. And with the pattern, I wanted it to be a little bit um, bigger than the 32 to 34 that she had listed on here for that gauge. But I did do another test squat test. All right, I did do another test swatch and I used my three millimeter hook, which I have upside down there, my three millimeter hook. And I did actually come up with the two by two doing that swatch. The thing is doing the two by two squats, I'm gonna get this, doing a two by two swatch would have actually made my shirt um, not fit because even using my four millimeter, which gave me the two and a quarter inch swatch, um, <laughs> it was still, the pattern wasn't quite long enough in this section here with the 15 rows that I needed to do. So I actually had to add another, um, row in there to make it long enough for my body. And with that, I also found that doing the body of this shirt, I actually had to add a few rows because it was hitting a little shorter than even the picture was showing for this shirt. So, but I mean, I don't know what the body size is of the model in the picture or, or anything like that. So um, that's really hard to, to gauge, but doing that, the straps, were exactly per the pattern. So I did exactly the same number of rows and it fits perfectly. And I'll turn this around so you can see the back. So there is the back of the shirt. As you can see, the panel goes up. And again, I follow the pattern uh, exactly for that part of um, that section. So for the back panel and the straps, I followed exactly with the pattern, even with my four millimeter hook and um, so the body of it was the only thing that I was, I'm a little unsure of with the gauge and with my hooks. And I'm afraid it would have been a little too small had I done a three millimeter hook. So I am glad that I did the four and I'm glad that I kept checking it to make sure. But the pattern is super easy to follow. So I don't want you to be discouraged by that by any means. But um, but the, the pattern was very simple. It's a one page um, instructions, it's a repeat, it's very easy. Um, a beginner could probably very easily make the shirt. Um, just remembering the gauge and figuring that out might be the most difficult part of doing this. But otherwise, this pattern is amazing. The shirt is amazing. I love the way it fits. I love the way that it looks on me. Um, it's, I'm, I have a few flaws, <laughs> not really flaws, but I have a few areas that um, it covers very well. It does not, um, it does not look form fitting, so it doesn't um, show any anything that I'm uncomfortable with. And I love the way it just flows on me. And I did use um, my, I don't know if you can see it, my comfy 
cotton blend. So it's 50% polyester and 50% cotton is what I use for this. So that potentially could be the reason that my gauge didn't turn out the same as well because I believe that the pattern called for a, um, a lightweight cotton yarn and this was a um, lightweight half cotton, half polyester. So that could be part of that. So that could be something you may want to look into if you do decide to make this pattern and get this for yourself. But I did love, love, love the way this turned out, the colors. I love the way they flowed and with the design is still pops. So I am in love with this shirt. I may even make it with other types of yarn and colors. I have some stuff kind of planned, but with my metallic, my metallic yarn up there, my goucher. So, um, who knows? I may have another shirt to show at some point, but I just wanted to give you a little review of this, um, shirt and show it to you. And I will link that again in the comments. So in the description box below, and I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you have a great day. Thank you guys. Bye.